What's good, y'all? Thanks for tuning back in the air traffic. And today I got another massive unboxing. Long time, no see, but I'm back now. Let's go ahead and see what we got in these packs. Before I do crack them open, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit that like button as well. Let's get into these packs. <laughs> Now, you know, recently, really, the sneaker game hasn't been that exciting for your boy, to be honest with you. I've had, you know, some opportunities to pick up some things that I've been either wanting for a while or I just pretty much waited on any of the newer releases because I knew I was going to be able to pick them up for under retail somehow, some way. So, this is why you might see some older pickups or whatever. This one, of course, comes from Nike. It is a Jordan 13. And this is a pickup that my boy Romy Rome was able to help me out with again. He uh, basically was able to get these for me for way under retail. It is the newer release of the Jordan 13 Chicago or the Cherry 13s, whichever you prefer to call them. Some people like them, some people don't. I heard some folks complaining about the quality before. But, I mean, I'm going to be happy with them either way. I had the older pair. I ended up selling them. In my opinion, it's much more better to get the newer version because it's going to last you longer. In the end. But with that being said, all in all, I'm definitely happy to add this one back to the collection. And in my opinion, I really don't see too much difference between this actual model and the one that released previous to this one. This next pickup is a first for me. It actually released uh, this past weekend, if I'm not mistaken. It may have came out in uh, Europe a little bit earlier. I'm not sure. I know some sites have it. Um, it is an Adidas. It's an Ultra Boost. Everybody's been hollering about how comfortable the Ultra Boost is. And I finally saw a colorway that I could potentially get with. And the colorway, if I'm not mistaken, is Clear Olive and Trace Cargo. And overall, it's a decent colorway. Not really my style when it comes to sneakers, but like I said, I'm gonna give them a shot. It does have your clear cage here, with your hit of that olive green on that rear shank plate. The primary color of the upper seems to be like a light gray. And then the stripe design on the prime knit upper, it either has some darker olive green hits or dark gray, I can't really tell. And of course, you got an all black outsole. All right, this next spot comes from another one of my go-to spots is Kicks USA. I think they ship from California, but they never add tax to their orders, which is always a good thing. And it's kind of like a low-key slept on site, to be honest. They just recently started carrying Jordans online um, rather than their physical stores, but they're becoming more popular now. I actually caught this particular pair of shoes on a restock and definitely glad to pick them up because I thought I was gonna have to pay resale. I know prices have kind of come down now, just as weeks after the release, but we do have an all-star pickup. This is a Jordan 1, and that gives it away basically. We got the Jordan 1 All-Stars right here. I'm not really sure what we decided to call the all-star colorway that they released on the Jordan 6 or the Jordan 1. All I know is that it has a really nice iridescent for the most part, when the light hits it, you definitely can get that shiny plum purple and it goes all the way to like an aqua blue, depending on the light. Of course, they blessed us with that Nike Air on the tongue. You do get an additional set of laces, which both laces are tipped with a nice metallic iridescence purple to green finish. Very clean shoe in my opinion. You definitely won't see it every day. And let's definitely not forget to mention the fact that they took that same dope iridescence feel from the upper and integrate it into the outsole of this shoe. So next up, we got another pickup from my boy Rome. He did pick them up from Nike, and then just Ford shipped it to me. It is another all-star pickup. I figured since we was already on them, we might as well cover the other half. And saying that, then you know that these are the Jordan 6 all-stars. Price point was a little steep. They wanted 225 for them. Of course, you know we are several weeks if not months after the release and we have a lot of pairs being discounted from pretty much every platform that I've seen them sold at. I was in the mall today, they were on sale. I know Nike.com has them on sale now. Foot action, finish line, everywhere pretty much has these shoes on sale. 
I really feel like this was a good example, basically just to show Nike that, you know, everything can't be premium price. You know, it's some things that they release and that they sell to us that may have nicer materials and may have cost them a little bit more to make than their average Jordan Retro that they should just give us at the regular price. Because here we are, All-Star 6s, which in my opinion have very nice material, definitely a dope colorway, and they just did not sell. In my opinion, it's definitely a clean shoe. I know the wearability might not be there. I mean, I definitely won't be able to wear them every day. I have to be selective with the outfits that I wear with them. But even with that being the case, weighing up the material and the uniqueness of the sneaker, I'm definitely glad I was able to snatch them up for a really good price thanks to Rome. So with this next pack, I was able to grab me a little eBay code and pick up another pair of sneakers that I've been after for a while. Just was refusing to pay the resale prices for this particular size. It is one I tried to go after on release day, but struck out countless times. I think they only restocked once if I'm not mistaken. Nevertheless, I had like a 20% off code and snatched them right on up. It is something that I've never unboxed on the channel. I know you just heard that with the Ultra Boost, but we got us another first unboxing. They included the receipt there from the athlete's foot. Not really too many of those left around. This is a Hirachi. And we got those all blue suede Hirachis. Of course, this is the collaboration that they did with Undefeated. These released like a week after they came out with those low rider Hirachis not too long ago. And I definitely thought these were pretty tough. I just wasn't willing to pay that 300 resale price for them. But like I said, with that coupon, I was able to get them for a really affordable price. Normally, I'm not really too big on like an all blue suede shoe. But what really did it for me with this shoe in particular was that metallic all gold finish that you got wrapped around basically the rear portion of the shoe. And it even has like a nice iridescence feel to it as well. It's just really dope to see these sneaker boutiques partner up with Nike and do a dope collab like this one on a sneaker silhouette that you wouldn't normally see them do it on. All right, so next up we got a first pickup from me. It comes from a spot called Rock City Kicks. Um, I downloaded an app called Restocks and basically it'll let you know like whenever a site restocks a specific shoe or a style of shoe that you tell it that you're interested in and I ended up picking this one up from Rock City Kicks because a notification came up again like I said I've been trying to give these Ultra Boosts a fair chance so I ended up picking these up size 12 and as you can see we got that night cargo ultra boost three point i think they came out with another similar colorway to this one it's called the trace cargo but this one's a little bit different and of course with this ultra boost model you got your prime knit upper with that dark olive and in my opinion what appears to be either a black or a navy highlight so the next pickup i got is more of a accessory pickup than an actual sneaker pickup. Again, I saw a notification on Twitter from one of the accounts I follow that they had some designer pieces and you could get like 25 to 30% off. So I definitely decided to go ahead and pull the trigger. The shop specifically is called Elevated. I personally never picked anything up from this spot, but the price at which I got this, it just was like a no brainer for me. As you can see, the item I got is individually wrapped and it comes in its own like dust bag, I guess you can say. You can see it is from Ferragamo, France, Italy. And as you can see, I picked up a nice little Ferragamo belt with the gold accent. One thing I liked about this belt in particular is the fact that it is reversible. So you can switch from the black leather to the brown leather belt, depending on your outfit. So this next pickup is an international pickup coming from a spot in the Philippines called Titan. Um, I saw that he had a couple extra sizes of these and I figured I'd go ahead and check out just to see what the market does on them. Um, it is not my size. But the first time I actually picked up anything from them. So now that we got it all unwrapped out of the bubble wrap, you still can see some battle wounds. That's international shipping for you. 
But we got another China 12, Chinese New Year. You see they both double wrapped in the paper. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it as I've already unboxed multiple pairs of this particular shoe. Still a dope shoe, clean colorway. I'm not sure what prices have done. I think they've kind of become stagnant at around like 350 to 400. Maybe even can get them lower than that. Personally, I really feel like these are gonna end up going up and shooting up over time. Just because of the simple fact that these resemble the Taxi 12. That and the fact that it's got those bamboo hits on the sneaker. The mud guard has a nice little woven look to it. And let's not forget the entire uppers in 3M. All right, so this next pack is a uh, pickup from eBay. Well, really it's a pickup from Soul Supremacy. I got it from one of their eBay auctions. They do run them, I think if not every week, every two weeks. And they got a lot of good stuff up there. And sometimes you can get some steals um, at first. I used to get even better steals than I can get now because it was a little bit more low key. Now a lot of people really know about it. I ended up getting a phone posit. I've been after this one for a while now and I just didn't really want to pay the resale on it. As you can see we got the black Gucci foams. Um, pretty good condition from what I could tell. Looks like the carbon fiber is a little bit scratched up on one of the shoes, but it is what it is. These came out a little while ago, um, alongside with a white Gucci pair as well. And overall, I feel like it's a really sharp shoe. This next pickup comes from another YouTuber. Uh, it goes by the name of Pop Pop Lewis. Um, I've done a trade with him before. And just as with that pair of kicks, he had another pair that he was looking to get rid of. And I had some things that he was uh, looking to pick up himself. So we ended up working out a deal. I traded him a pair of the Chinese New Year 12s, a size 13, and I had a pair of Jordan 1 UNCs that I've had basically since they came out that I just kind of had in the closet. I ended up trading both pairs of those for this Yeezy Boost V2. And as you can see, we got a pair of those Yeezy Boost 350 V2s in a copper colorway. Now adding this particular colorway to the collection, I have all three that released during that holiday season all on the same day. Of course, this one is a size 13. Normally I would do a 12, but like I said, these fit kind of small, so maybe that 13 will give me a little bit extra room. Other than that, definitely a dope colorway and big shout outs to Pop Pop Lewis. Make sure that you go give him a follow. Now this next pack comes from Adidas. I picked it up uh, last weekend. Um, it's another one of those sneakers that released during that big uh, Adidas payment processing problem or issue that they had for that little 30 minutes or 40 minute period. Um, I wasn't able to actually get these in my size by the time I added them and checked out the entire stock of 12, 12 and a half was gone. So I ended up picking it up in a size 14. I'm definitely feeling this particular colorway better than the all triple black colorway. Just because I feel like those gray highlights on the prominent upper definitely add to the overall look and effect of the shoe. If you struck out on this pair, but you own a pair of Yeezys, in my personal opinion, I would say that you're really not missing too much. I'm not really sure if there's that much difference between the comfort of a Yeezy and an Ultra Boost. Nevertheless, you can't go wrong with these. It's definitely a solid colorway, and they'll definitely hold up over time being that the Boost is all black. Now this next pickup comes from another YouTuber. Well, I'm not really sure if he's still doing videos. He might have uh, fallen back for a while, but he used to. I used to watch him a long time ago. Goes by the name of Philly Got Soul. Um, he's had a couple of pairs of shoes that I've picked up from him in the past. I know he's been clearing out pairs from his collection for the last two years, if I'm not mistaken. He's got a lot of good deals, especially on Twitter if you want to go check him out. But this particular shoe, I've had my eye on for a while, and uh, we finally got to a price point where I was willing to pay. Definitely appreciate him for that hookup there. And we got us a Reebok. And you already know if I picked up a Reebok, it's definitely got to be a question. And we got those Reebok Question Crocus. Just a dope sneaker overall. When it comes down to the materials, it's unlike no other. Of course, this is their collab with SNS. Um, I do have a couple other collabs. And actually, the other sneaker that I picked up for them, or one of them, is another Reebok Question sneaker. 
but I've been after this shoe for a while now. Uh, resale prices I've seen somewhere around like $300 if you can even find them. Uh, they're getting kind of scarce, especially in DX condition. Fortunately, we were able to work something out where I got these for about 100 or if not less than that. I can't really even remember. I just know it was a hell of a steal. So big shout outs to Matt for that. Definitely happy to pick this particular sneaker up. This next sneaker comes from a spot called Exhibition. I don't even know where these people are located at. It's the first time I made a purchase from them. I know I've seen them come across my timeline from time to time and they carry pretty much a lot of uh, Adidas sneakers, um, things of that nature. I've never been able to check out with them because every time that I've gotten on the site, the shoe has either been sold out or whatever, but that's neither here or there. They did include a card for 15% off of my next purchase. So I'll definitely be going back up there to see if I can grab anything for discount. <laughs> they put a pack of bubble gum in there, high chew. I never even had this stuff here. Great flavor. Got the receipt and the card as well. As you can see from the box, we got us an Adidas. This is uh, the White Mountaineering Collab NMD R2. When I got on the site, they had a couple different sizes up there. I checked out with the 11 and a half since it was closest to the size that I wear. This particular model of the NMD is missing the support block that we would normally see on regular models, except for on the uh, medial side of the shoe. You can see you got that big block there. Uh, of course, you got the three stripes on the upper with white mountaineering branding alongside of Adidas as well. The rear portion of the shoe is something different than we would normally see. It's definitely a unique shoe. Not sure if I'm gonna be keeping them or not, but just thought I'd show you that I picked them up. All right guys, so we're down to this last pack. Done with the sneakers, unfortunately, but I did have one last clothing pickup. Comes from True Religion. I've been picking me up a couple pairs of jeans here and there. Especially now that we're going into the summer season, you can get a lot of deals on long pants. True Religion does have a lot of different sales going on. So I decided to pick up a couple pairs, add them to the collection. In total, I ended up picking up five pairs of jeans. We're talking about sizing of True Religion jeans. I found that I can really only pull off the skinnies. Um, those seem to be like the ones that are not too baggy and won't really swallow your shoes up. Sometimes I can manage pulling off a slim model, but even with those, it's 50-50. Sometimes I've had to send them back because they just were a little bit too baggy for me. Fortunate enough for me, all these are skinny, so I won't be facing that problem. All right, guys, well, that does it for this massive unboxing. Be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite pickup was out of all these sneakers here. With this haul, I definitely was able to pick up a lot of things that have been on my hit list for a while. Thank God I waited because I was able to get them for some pretty decent prices. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already. As always, hit the like button and share the video if you're able to do so. Go ahead and give me a follow on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat for the name you see on the screen at this time. And keep it locked to air trafficking for more dope multi-sneaker pickups just like this one. Until next time, I'm taking off.